kilometers, 45 degrees south of east, 53 kilometers, 26 degrees north of west, 26 kilometers, 18 degrees east of south. At the end of the third flight they are captured. In what town are they apprehended? JKJIJK69A wheel with a radius of 45.0 cm rolls without slipping along a horizontal floor Fig.337 At time T1, the dot P painted on the rim of the wheel is at the point of contact between the wheel and the floor At time T2, the wheel has rolled through one half of a revolution what are a the magnitude and b the angle relative to the floor of the displacement of p 70 a woman walks 250 meters in the direction 30 degrees east of north and the thin diagonal line B A A B A A A A B B A B A B A B A B A B A B smiley face A B B A C H A P T E R 4 
motion in two and three dimensions. Four, one, position and displacement. Learning objectives. After reading this module, you should be able to 4.01 Draw two-dimensional and three-dimensional position vectors for a particle, indicating the components along the axes of a coordinate system. 4.02 On a coordinate system, determine the direction and key ideas. Build circle the location of a particle relative to the origin of a coordinate system is given by a position vector, which in unit vector notation is colon r r g y j z k i colon r j k here x y and z are the vector components of position vector and x y and z are its scalar components as well as the coordinates of the particle fill circle a position vector is described either by a magnitude and magnitude of a particle's position vector from its components and vice versa 4.03 Apply the relationship between a particle's displacement vector and its initial and final position vectors. One or two angles for orientation, or by its vector or scalar components. Colon, R, 1, colon, R, 2, colon. Build circle if a particle moves so that its position vector changes from 2. The particle's displacement, R, 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 2 R, 1, is. The displacement can also be written as R, X2, X1, I, Y2, Y1, J, Z2, Z1, K, G, Y, J, Z, K. What is physics? In this chapter we continue looking at an aspect of physics that analyzes motion, but now the motion can be in two or three dimensions. For example, researchers and aeronautical engineers might concentrate on the physics of the two and three dimensional turns taken by fighter pilots in dogfights because a modern high performance jet can take a tight turn so quickly that the pilot immediately loses consciousness. A sports engineer might focus on the physics of basketball. For example, in a free throw where a player gets an uncontested shot at the basket from about 4.3 meters, a player might employ the overhand push shot, in which the ball is pushed away from about shoulder height and then released. Or the player might use an underhand loop shot, in which the ball is brought upward from about the belt line level and released. The first technique is the overwhelming choice among professional players, but the legendary Rick Barry set the record for free throw shooting with the underhand technique. Motion in three dimensions is not easy to understand. For example, you are probably good at driving a car along a freeway, one-dimensional motion, but will probably have a difficult time in landing an airplane on a runway, three-dimensional motion without a lot of training. In our study of two- and three-dimensional motion, we start with position and displacement. 62. Position and displacement One general way of locating a particle, or particle-like object, is with a position vector, which is a vector that extends from a reference point, usually the origin, to the particle. In the unit vector notation of module 3 to 2, can be written 4 to 1 where x, y, and z are the vector components of in the coefficients x, y, and z are its scalar components. The coefficients x, 
y and z give the particles location along the coordinate axes and relative to the origin that is the particle has the rectangular coordinates x y z for instance Pick point 41 shows a particle with position vector and rectangular coordinates 2m, 5m. Along the axis the particle is 3 meters from the origin, in the direction. Along the axis it is 2 meters from the origin, in the direction. Along the axis it is 5 meters from the origin, in the direction. As a particle moves, its position vector changes in such a way that the vector always extends to the particle from the reference point the origin. If the position vector changes, say, from to during a certain time interval, then the particle's displacement during that time interval is 4 to 2 using the unit vector notation of eq.41. We can rewrite this displacement as r is 4 to 3 where coordinates x1, y1, z1 correspond to position vector and coordinates x2, y2, z2 correspond to position vector. We can also rewrite the displacement by substituting x for x2, x1, yf, r, y2, y1, and zf, r, z2, z1, 4 to 4, r, she, y, j, z, k, r, 2, r, 1, r x2 x1 i y2 y1 j z2 z1 k r x2 i y2 j z2 k x1 i y1 j z1 k r r 2 r 1 r r 2 r 1 k j i r 3 meters i 2 meters j 5 meters k r K J I R C Y J C K R R Figure 4 to 1 The position vector for a particle is the vector sum of its vector components. R Y X C minus 3 meters I 2 meters J 5 meters K O R to locate the particle. This is how far parallel to Z. This is how far parallel to Y. This is how far parallel to X, position vector. Let's evaluate those coordinates at the given time, and then we can use EQ.36 to evaluate the magnitude and orientation of the position vector. R, sample problem 4.012 dimensional position vector. Run a rabbit runs across a parking lot on which a set of coordinate axes has, strangely enough, been drawn. The coordinates meters of the rabbit's position as functions of timid seconds are given by x0.31 t2 7.2 t2 28, 4 to 5, and y0.2 t2 t2 9.1 t4 to 6a at t15s, what is the rabbit's position vector in unit vector notation and in magnitude angle notation? Key idea the Zanda coordinates of the rabbit's position, as given by EQ's point 45 and 4 to 6, are the scalar components of the rabbit's R. Calculations, we can write 4 to 7 we write rather than because the components are functions of T, and thus is also. At 15, the scalar components are by 0 0.31152.7.2.1528.66 m and y 0 0.22152.9.1153057 m. So answer R. 66 meters I 57 meters J R R R sat base T R sat base T X T I Y T J 
six three four position and displacement sixty four motion in two and three dimensions y n forty twenty minus forty one degrees Shape a rabbit this is the x component the path with various times indicated xm 60 5s 20s 80 10s 15s check although new 139 degrees has the same tangent as 41 degrees the components of position vector colon r Sired angle is 139 degrees. 2 x 2 y 2 2 66 meters 257 m 2 180 degrees 41 degrees. B graph the rabbit's path for T. Indicate that the depth 0 to T. Answer. Tan 1 y x tan 157 meters.
15 at T15. This gives Vx 2.1 meter per second. Similarly, applying the bipart of EQ.412 to EQ.46, we find 4 to 14 at 15. This gives Vy 2.5 meters per second. Equation 4 to 11 then yields answer, which is shown in Fig.45, tangent to the rabbit's path and in the direction the rabbit is running at T15. To get the magnitude and angle of, either we use a vector-capable calculator or we follow EQ.36 to write B. B, 2.1 meters per second I, 2.5 meters per second J, 0.449.1, BY DI DT DDT, 0.22 T29.1 T30, 0.62 T7.2, DX DX DT DDT, 0.31 T27.2 T28 B, 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 sample problem 4.022 dimensional velocity, rabbit run additional examples, video, and practice available at Wiley plus figure 4 to 5 the rabbit's velocity at T15 versus minus 130 degrees by M0204020406 OYM204060 80X versus these are the X and the components of the vector at this instant. 4 to 3 average acceleration and instantaneous acceleration the average acceleration vector in magnitude angle and unit vector notation. 4.11 given a particle's velocity vector as a function of time, determine its instantaneous acceleration vector. 4.12 for each dimension of motion, apply the constant acceleration equation, chapter 2, to relate acceleration, velocity, position, and time. Learning objectives after reading this module, you should be able to 4.08 Identify that acceleration is a vector quantity and thus has both magnitude and direction and also has components. 4.09 Draw two-dimensional and three-dimensional acceleration vectors for a particle, indicating the components. 4.10 Given the initial and final velocity vectors of a particle and the time interval between those velocities, determine either the acceleration or the instantaneous acceleration. Fill a circle in unit vector notation, where an as dbzpt, ax dbxpt, idbypt, a, axi ayjazk, a, D D D T A T ideas filled circle of a particle's velocity changes from T in time interval T. Its average acceleration during T filled circle is T shrunk to zero, reaches a limiting value called A. A D G A A D G B two verses one T D T verses two verses one. 68. Chapter 4 Motion in 2 and 3 Dimensions Average Acceleration and Instantaneous Acceleration Versus 1. A. Versus 2. When a particle's velocity changes from to in a time interval t, its average acceleration. A. B. G. 4. During t. Average acceleration, A, A, B, G, versus, change in velocity time interval, 2, versus, 1, versus, comma, T, T, dot. If we shrink T to 0 about some instant, then in the limit, A, 4 to 15, 
approaches the instantaneous acceleration per acceleration of that instant, that is, A, B, G, A, A, B, 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 T, 4 to 16. If the velocity changes in either magnitude or direction, or both, the particle must have an acceleration. We can write EQ. 4 to 16 in unit vector form by substituting EQ. 4 to 11 for to obtain. Versus. A. We can rewrite this as. A. DVT DXI. DVXVTI. A Y J B Y J B B Y D T J B Z K B B Z D T K A Z K Where the scalar components of R A X 4 to 17 D B X D T I D B Y D T and as D B Z P T A 4 to 18 To find the scalar components of we differentiate the scalar components of Figure 4 to 6 shows an acceleration vector versus A and its scalar components for a particle moving in two dimensions Caution when an acceleration vector is drawn, as in fig. 4 to 6, it does not extend from one position to another. Rather, it shows the direction of acceleration for a particle located at its tail, and its length representing the acceleration magnitude can be drawn to any scale. Y, A. Figure 4 to 6 the acceleration of a particle in the scalar components of A, O. These are the X and Y components of the vector of this instant. X, I, A, F, X. 4, 3 average acceleration and instantaneous acceleration. 69. Checkpoint 2. 3T2, 4T. Here are four descriptions of the position in meters of a puck as it moves in an xy plane, 1x, 2 and y6, T2, 4T3, 2x, 3T3, R, 2T2, I, 4T3, J, 4T and y5, T2, 6. R 4T32TI3J 4 are the X and Y acceleration components constant is acceleration constant A Sample problem 4.032 dimensional acceleration rabbit run for the rabbit in the preceding two sample problems, find the acceleration at time t. A. K E Y I D E A. 15s. A. We can find by taking derivatives of the rabbit's velocity component. Calculations. Applying the x part of EQ. 4 to 18 to EQ. 413, we find the x component of to be A. X. D D X D T. D D T 0.62 T 7.2. 0.62 meters per square second. Similarly, applying the I part of EQ. 4 to 18 to EQ. 4 to 14 yields the Y component as I D D Y D T D D T 0.44 T 9.1 0.44 meters per square second. We see that the acceleration does not vary with time, it is a constant because the time variable t does not appear in the expression for either acceleration component. Equation 4 to 17 then yields.
A. 0.62 meters per second to I. 0.44 meters per second to J. Answer. Which is superimposed on the rabbit's path in Fig.47. To get the magnitude and angle of, either we use a vector capable calculator or we follow EQ. 3 to 6. For the magnitude we have. A. A. 2x2 i2 2 0.62 meters per second 2 2 0.44 meters per second 2 2 0.76 meters per square second for the angle we have tan 1 i x a tan 1 0.44 meters per square second 0.62 meters per square second. Answer. 35. However, this angle, which is the one displayed on a calculator, indicates that is directed to the right and downward and fig. 4 to 7. Yes, we know from the components that must be directed to the left and upward. To find the other angle that A has the same tangent as 35 degrees but is not displayed on a calculator, we add 180 degrees. 35 degrees, 180 degrees, 145 degrees. This is consistent with the components of because it gives a vector that is to the left and upward. Note that has the same magnitude and direction throughout the rabbit's run because the acceleration is constant. That means that we can draw the very same vector at any other point along the rabbit's path, just shift the vector to put its tail at some other point on the path without changing the length or orientation. This has been the second sample problem in which we needed to take the derivative of a vector that is written in unit vector notation. One common error is to neglect the unit vectors themselves, with the result of only a set of numbers and symbols. Keep in mind that a derivative of a vector is always another vector. Figure 4 to 7 the acceleration of the rabbit at T15S. The rabbit happens to have this same acceleration at all points on its path. Answer. A. Y. M. 40. 20. 0. Minus 20. Minus 40. Minus 60. 20. 40. A. These are the X and Y components of the vector at this instant. A. X. M. 60, 80, 145 degrees, X, A. Additional examples, video, and practice available at Wiley Plus. 70. Chapter 4 Motion in 2 and 3 Dimensions. 4, 4 Projectile Motion. Learning Objectives. After reading this module, you should be able to 4.13 On a sketch of the path taken in projectile motion, explain the magnitudes and directions of the velocity and acceleration components during the flight. Key Ideas 4.14 Given the launch velocity in either magnitude angle or unit vector notation, Calculate the particle's position, displacement, and velocity at a given instant during the flight. 4.15 Given data for an instant during the flight, calculate the launch velocity. Build circle in projectile motion, a particle is launched into the air with a speed version 0 and at an angle mu 0 is measured from a horizontal x-axis. During flight, its horizontal acceleration is 0 and its vertical acceleration is g downward on a vertical y-axis. Still circle the equations of motion for the particle while in flight can be written as 
xx0 p0 cuz 0 t y y0 p0 sin 0 t1 2 g t2 p y p2 y p0 sin 0 g t p0 sin 0 2 2 g y y0 Still circle the trajectory path of a particle in projectile motion is parabolic and is given by y tan 0 x if x 0 and y 0 are 0 gx 2 2 p 0 cos 0 2 Still circle the particle's horizontal range R, which is the horizontal distance from the launch point to the point at which the particle returns to the launch height, is RV02 grams sin 2, 0, projectile motion. We next consider a special case of two-dimensional motion. A particle moves in a vertical plane with some initial velocity versus 0 g but its acceleration is always the freefall acceleration which is downward such a particle is called a projectile meaning that it is projected or launched and its motion is called projectile motion a projectile might be a tennis ball big four to eight or baseball in flight but it is not a duck in flight Many sports involve the study of the projectile motion of a ball. For example, the racquetball player who discovered the Z-shot in the 1970s easily won his games because of the ball's perplexing flight to the rear of the court. Our goal here is to analyze projectile motion using the tools for two-dimensional motion described in module 4 to 1 through 4 to 3 and making the assumption that air has no effect on the projectile. Figure 4 to 9, which we shall analyze soon, shows the path followed by a projectile when the air has no effect. The projectile is launched with an initial velocity versus 0 d0 zero sheet versus 0 that can be written as d0 yj 4 to 19 the components version 0x and d0 y can then be found if we know the angle u0 between in the positive x direction d0 x versus 0 D0 cos U0 and version 0 Y version 0 sin U0. Opening parenthesis. 4. 20. Closing parenthesis. Colon. Richard Magna Fundamental Photographs. Figure 4 to 8 A stroboscopic photograph of a yellow tennis ball bouncing off a hard surface. Between impact. The ball has projectile motion versus during its two-dimensional motion, the projectile's position vector and velocity vector R A change continuously, but its acceleration vector is constant and always directed vertically downward. The projectile has no horizontal acceleration. Projectile motion, like that in Fig. 4 to 8 and 4 to 9, looks complicated, but we have the following simplifying feature known from experiment. In projectile motion, the horizontal motion and the vertical motion are independent of each other, that is, neither motion affects the other. Seven one four four projectile motion AXYO zero theta V zero version 
zero y version zero x y o x o v x v y v x y y o v y equals zero v x y o v x v y v x y o v x x o version zero x x o v x x o v x x o v x x o v x y o version zero y o v y y y o v y equals zero y o v y y v x v y theta v v x v y vertical motion vertical velocity launch launch speed decreasing constant velocity speed increasing constant velocity constant velocity stopped at maximum height constant velocity plus right arrow horizontal motion projectile motion launch velocity launch angle this vertical motion plus this horizontal motion produces this projectile motion Figure 4 to 9 the projectile motion of an object launched into the air at the origin of a coordinate system and with launch velocity at angle U0. The motion is a combination of vertical motion, constant acceleration, and horizontal motion, constant velocity, as shown by the velocity components. Versus, 0. 72. Chapter 4 Motion in 2 and 3 Dimensions Richard Magna Fundamental Photographs Figure 4 to 10 One ball is released from rest at the same instant that another ball is shot horizontally to the right. Their vertical motions are identical. The ball and the can fall the same distance h. m. can. g. h. Figure 4 to 11 The projectile ball always hits the fallen can. Each falls a distance h from where it would be were there no free fall acceleration. This feature allows us to break up a problem involving two-dimensional motion into two separate and easier one-dimensional problems. One for the horizontal motion with zero acceleration, and one for the vertical motion with constant downward acceleration. Here are two experiments that show that the horizontal motion and the vertical motion are independent. Two golf balls. Figure 4 to 10 is a stroboscopic photograph of two golf balls, one simply released and the other shot horizontally by a spring. The golf balls have the same vertical motion, both falling through the same vertical distance in the same interval of time. The fact that one ball is moving horizontally while it is falling has no effect on its vertical motion, that is, the horizontal and vertical motions are independent of each other. A great student browser. In Fig. 411, a blowgun G using a ball as a projectile is aimed directly at a can suspended from a magnet M just as the ball leaves the blowgun, the can is released. If G is the magnitude of the free fall acceleration, or zero, the ball would follow the straight line path shown in this. 4 to 11 and the can would float in place after the magnet released it. The ball would certainly hit the can. However, G is not zero, but the ball still hits the can. As big, 4 to 11 shows, during the time of flight of the ball, both ball and can fall the same distance H from their zero G location. The harder the demonstrator blows, the greater is the ball's initial speed, the shorter the flight time, and the smaller the value of H. Checkpoint 3. At a certain instant, a fly ball has velocity. Versus. Versus. 25i. 4.9j. The x-axis is horizontal, the y-axis is upward, and is in meters per second. Has the ball passed its highest point? The horizontal motion. Now we are ready to analyze projectile motion, horizontally and vertically. We start with the horizontal motion. 
because there is no acceleration in the horizontal direction, the horizontal component Vx of the projectile's velocity remains unchanged from its initial value version 0x throughout the motion, as demonstrated in Fig. 4 to 12. At any time t, the projectile's horizontal displacement x x0 from an initial position x0 is given by eq.215 with a 0, which we write as x x0 v0 x t. Because version 0 x version 0 to c0, this becomes x x0 v0 to c0 t. The vertical motion 4 to 21. The vertical motion is the motion we discussed in module 2 to 5 for a particle in free fall. Most important is that the acceleration is constant. Thus, the equations of table 2 to 1 apply, provided we substitute G for and switch to Y notation. Then, for example, EQ.215 becomes 0 G cap Y Y 0 V 0 Y T 1 2 G T 2 V 0 sin 0 T 1 2 G T 2 4 to 22 where the initial vertical velocity component version 0 y is replaced with the equivalent version 0 sin u0. Similarly, EQ's point to 11 and 2 to 16 become v y. v0 sin u0 gt. And, v y2. v0 sin 0 2. 2 grams y y0. 4 to 23 4 to 24 4 4 projectile motion 73 as is illustrated in fig 4 to 9 in eq 423 the vertical velocity component behaves just as for a ball thrown vertically upward it is directed upward initially, and its magnitude steadily decreases to zero, which marks the maximum height of the path. The vertical velocity component then reverses direction, and its magnitude becomes larger with time. The equation of the path we can find the equation of the projectile's path, its trajectory, by eliminating time t between EQ, 4 to 21 and 4 to 22. Solving EQ, 4 to 21 for t and substituting into EQ.422, we obtain, after a little rearrangement, y tan 0 x 0 and y 0 gx22 v0 cos 0 2 trajectory 4 to 25 this is the equation of the path shown in fig 4 to 9 in deriving it for simplicity we let x 0 0 in eq 4 to 21 and 4 to 22 respectively because g u0 and v0 are constants eq 4 to 25 is of the form y x v x2 in which a and b are constants this is the equation of a parabola so the path is parabolic the horizontal range the horizontal range R of the projectile is the horizontal distance the projectile has traveled when it returns to its initial height, the height at which it is launched. To find range R, let us put XX0R in EQ. 4 to 21 and YY00 in EQ.422, obtaining RB0 to C0T, and 0 v 0 sin 0 t 1 2 v t 2 Eliminating t between these two equations yields r t v 0 2 grams sin 0 cos 0 
using the identity sin t u zero. Two sin u zero cos u zero c appendix c we obtain. R D zero two grams sin two o. Four to twenty six. This equation does not give the horizontal distance traveled by a projectile when the final height is not the launch height. Note that R in EQ. 4 to 26 has its maximum value when sin to mu 0. 1, which corresponds to 2 mu 0 90 degrees or mu 0 45 degrees. The horizontal range R is maximum for a launch angle of 45 degrees. However, when the launch and landing heights differ, as in many sports, a launch angle of 45 degrees does not yield the maximum horizontal distance. The effects of the air. We have assumed that the air through which the projectile moves has no effect on its motion. However, in many situations, the disagreement between our calculations and the actual motion of the projectile can be large because the air resists opposes the motion. Figure 4 to 13, for example, shows two paths for a fly ball that leaves the bat at an angle of 60 degrees with the horizontal and an initial speed of 44.7 meters per second. Path I for baseball players fly ball is a calculated path that approximates normal conditions of play in air. Path to the physics professor's fly ball is the path the ball will follow in a vacuum. Jamie Budge. Figure 4 to 12 The vertical component of this skateboarder's velocity is changing but not the horizontal component, which matches the skateboard's velocity. As a result, the skateboard stays underneath him, allowing him to land on it. Air reduces height. Y. V0. And range. I. 2. 60 degrees. X. Figure 4 to 13 I the path of a fly ball calculated by taking air resistance into account. Choose the path the ball will follow in a vacuum, calculated by the methods of this chapter. See table 4 to 1 for corresponding data. Based on the trajectory of a fly ball by Peter J. Brancasio, the physics teacher, January 1985. Table 4 to 1-2 fly balsa. Half I. Air. Half 2. Vacuum. Range. Maximum height. Time. Of flight. 98.5 meters. 53.0 meters. 6.6 S. 177 meters. 76.8 meters 7.9 s ac 6.413 the launch angle is 60 degrees and the launch speed is 44.7 meters per second 74 chapter 4 MOTION in two and three dimensions additional examples Video, and practice available at Wiley Plus Sample Problem 4.04 Projectile Drops from Airplane Many 2.427 gives its answer B, as the capsule reaches the water, what is its velocity? The idea is 1. The horizontal and vertical components of the capsule's velocity are independent. Two component Vx does not change from its initial value version 0x version 0 to C0 because there is no horizontal acceleration. Three component Vy changes from its initial value 0y version 0 to new 0 because there is a vertical acceleration. Calculations 
When the capsule reaches the water, DXD 0 to C0 55.0 meters per second plus 0 degrees 55.0 meters per second. Using EQ.423 in the capsule's time of fall T10.1S, we also find that when the capsule reaches the water, DYV0 Sinu 0 GT 55.0 meters per second sin 0 degrees 9.8 meters per second to 10, once 99.0 meters per second. Thus, at the water answer, from EQ.36, the magnitude and the angle of our V113 meters per second and U60.9 degrees. Answer P, D, 55.0 meters per second, I, 99.0 meters per second, J, versus, Tan 1555.5 meters 500 meters 48.0 In FIG.414, a rescue plane flies at 198 kilometers per hour 55.0 meters per second and constant height H500 meters toward a point directly over a victim, where a rescue capsule is to land. Hey, what should be the angle FOS the pilot's line of sight to the victim when the capsule release is made? The idea is once released, the capsule is a projectile, so its horizontal and vertical motions can be considered separately, we need not consider the actual curved path of the capsule. Calculations. In FIG.414, we see that this given by 4 to 27 works is the horizontal coordinate of the victim and is a capsule when it hits the water and h 500 meters. We should be able to find x with EQ.421, xx0 b0 to c0 t. 4 to 28 here we know that x00 because the origin is placed at the point of release. Because the capsule is released and not shot from the plane, its initial velocity is equal to the plane's velocity. Thus, we know also that the initial velocity has magnitude v0 55.0 meters per second and angle u0 0 degrees measured relative to the positive direction of this axis. However, we do not know the time t the capsule takes to move from the plane to the victim. To find t, we next consider the vertical motion and specifically EQ.422. 4 to 29 here the vertical displacement yy0 of the capsule is 500 meters. The negative value indicates that the capsule moves downward. So, 4 to 30 solving for t. We find T10.1S. Using that value in EQ.428 yields XO, 55.0 meters per second, plus 0 degrees 10. Once 4 to 31 or by 555.5 meters. 500 meters 55.0 meters per second, sin 0 T12, 9.8 meters per second 2 T2. Y Y0 B0 Sin 0 T12 GT2 versus 0 tan 1 xh y theta phi o version 0 trajectory line of sight hx versus figure 4 to 14 a plane drops a rescue capsule while moving at constant velocity in level flight while falling the capsule remains under the plane
Because we know the horizontal displacement v 20.0 meters, let's start with the horizontal motion. Since x0 zero, x0 zero, we know that the horizontal velocity component is constant during the flight and thus is always equal to the horizontal component version 0 xat launch. We can relate that component, the displacement in the flight time T2.50 S will be 2.215. 4 to 32 substituting this become V2. 4 to 21. If we then write there is a component of the launch velocity, the unique magnitude of the pole vector, as shown in Fig. 4 to 15b, where the components form the legs of the right triangle and the pole vector forms the hypotenuse. We can then apply a trig definition to find the magnitude of the full velocity at launch. And so answered now let's go after the magnitude of the landing velocity. We already know the horizontal component, which has not changed from its initial value of 8.00 meters per second. To find the vertical component diameter as we know the elapsed time t2.50 s in the vertical acceleration let's rewrite e2.211 as a men from 5.415 b is 4 to 33 substituting a g this becomes e2.423 we can then write now that we know both components of the landing velocity. We use E2.36 to find the velocity magnitude. Answered 19.49 meters per square second, 19.5 meters per second. Eight point zero zero meters per second to seventeen point seven eight meters per second to V two V X two V Y two seventeen point seven eight meters per second V Y ten point four four meters per second sin forty point oh nine point eight meters per second to two point five zero S V Y V zero sin zero A Y T VYV0 YAYTI 9.8 meters per square second, 
10.44 meters per second, 10.4 meters per second. V0 version 0x to 208.00 meters per second plus 40 plus 0 version 0x to 0. V0 x 8.00 meters per second. 20 meters version 0x 2.50x 
article to go around the world's path exactly once. Proof of each year, 4 to 34, versus, versus. To find the magnitude and direction of the acceleration for uniform circular motion, we consider phase. 4 to 17, in fig, 4 to 17a, particle t moves at constant speed versus around a circle of radius r. As the instant shown, t has coordinates x, p, and y, p. Recall from module 4 to 2 that the velocity of a moving particle is always tangent to the particle's path at the particle's position. In fig, 4 to 17a, that means it's perpendicular to a radius r drawn to the particle's position. Then the angle u that makes for the vertical of p equals the angle u that radius r makes with the x-axis. Versus. Seven seven four five uniform circular motion figure four to seventeen particles he moves in counterclockwise uniform circular motion. A is position and velocity at a certain instant. B velocity. C acceleration. A B B Y X theta theta P Y P R X P B A Y X theta B X P Y B B Y X Y X the scalar components of are shown in Fig.417b. With them, we can write the velocity as four to thirty-six. Now, using the right triangle in Fig.417a, we can replace sin u with y p. Grand Casino with x p r t o right four to thirty-seven to find the acceleration of particle p. We must take the time derivative of this equation. Knowing that speed band radius r d o not change with time, we obtain four to thirty-eight. Now note that the rate v y p p t at which y p changes is equal to the velocity component b. Similarly, v x p p t v x and again from fig point four seventeen b, we see that v x p s i n u and v y b plus u. Making these substitutions in e two four to thirty eight, we find. 39 this vector and its components are shown in fig point 417c. Following e2.36, we find as we wanted to prove. To orient, we find the angle f shown in fig point 417c. Thus, f u, which means that is directed along the radius rock fig. 4 to 17a, for the surface center, as we wanted to prove. A, tan I axe B2R, sin B2R, plus tan A, A2 axe 2I2 2 2 B2R2, 2 2R 2 plus 2 sin 2 B2R, 11 B2R, A, B2R, plus I B2R, sin J A. B B B T B R D Y P B T I U B R D X P B T J A B B Y P R I U B X P R J versus B X I U B Y J B S I I versus J J B B checkpoint five an object moves at constant speed along a circular path in a horizontal axis plane with the center as the origin. When the object is at I 2 meters, its velocity is 4 meter per second. If the object A velocity and B acceleration at Y 2 meters. J sample problem 4.06 top gun pilots in turns PID as we assume the turn is made with uniform circular motion. Then the pilot's acceleration is centripetal and has magnitude A as given by E2.434 A version 2R, where is the surface radius? Also, the 
time required to complete a full circle is the period given by E2.435 T2PRP. Calculations. Because we do not know radius R, let's solve E2.435 for RAND substitute into E2.434. We find to get the constant speed D, let's substitute the components of the initial velocity into E2.36. D2 400 meters per second to 500 meters per second 2640.31 meters per second. A 2 versus T. Task done. Pilots have long worried about taking a turn too tightly. As a pilot's body undergoes centripetal acceleration, with the head toward the center of curvature, the blood pressure in the brain decreases, leading to loss of brain function. There are several warning signs. When the centripetal acceleration is 2 or 3 grams, the pilot feels heavy. At about 4 grams, the pilot's vision switches to black and white and narrows to tunnel vision. If that acceleration is sustained or increased, vision ceases and, soon after, the pilot is unconscious, a condition known as G-loss or G-induced loss of consciousness. What is the magnitude of the acceleration, in Dunnett, of a pilot whose aircraft enters a horizontal circular turn with a velocity of 400 by 500 a day meter per second and 24.0 S later leaves the turn with a velocity of 400 by 500 a day meter per second? Versus, FB, I, 78. Chapter 4 Motion in 2 and 3 Dimensions To find the period T of the motion, first note that the final velocity is the reverse of the initial velocity. This means the aircraft leaves on the opposite side of the circle from the initial point and must have completed half a circle in the given. 24.0x Thus a full circle would have taken T48.0x. Substituting these values into our equation for A, we find A, 2, 640.31 meters per second, 48.0x. Additional examples, video, and practice available at Wiley Plus. Fourth, sixth relative motion in one dimension. Learning objective. 83.81 meters per square second. 8.6 grams. Answer. After reading this module, you should be able to. 4.18 apply the relationship between a particle's position, velocity, and acceleration as measured from two reference. Key idea. Frames that move relative to each other at constant velocity and along a single axis. Build circle when two frames of reference A and B are moving relative to each other at constant velocity. The velocity of a particle P as measured by an observer in frame B usually differs from that measured from frame B. The two measured velocities are related by versus PA where versus PA versus PB versus VA. If the velocity of V with respect to A, both observers measure the same acceleration for the particle. A, P A, A, P B. Relative motion in one dimension. Suppose you see a duck flying north at 30 km per hour. To another duck flying alongside, the first duck seems to be stationary. In other words, the velocity of a particle depends on the reference frame of whoever is observing or measuring the velocity. For our purposes, a reference frame is the physical object to which we attach our coordinate system. In everyday life, that object is the ground. For example, the speed list 
mounted on a steaming ticket is always measured relative to the ground. The speed relative to the police officer would be different if the officer were moving while making a speed measurement. Frame he moves past frame while both of their feet. Why? Why? Frame A. Frame B. BBA. XBA. XPB. P. X. XPA equals XPB plus XBA. Suppose that Alex is the origin of frame A and Z. Porto 18 is parked by the side of a highway, watching car P that particle, P cast. Barbara as the origin of frame B is driving along the highway at constant speed and is also watching car P. Suppose that they both measure the position of the car at a given moment. From 6.418 you see that. XPA. XPBXBA. Opening parenthesis. X. 4. 40. Closing parenthesis. The equation is red. The coordinate XPA of C is measured by A is equal to the coordinate XPB of P is measured by B plus the coordinate XPA of B is measured by A. Note how this reading is supported by the sequence of the subscripts. Taking the time derivative of E2, 4 to 40, we obtain. Figure 4 to 18 Alice, frame A, and Barbara, frame B, watch car P, as both B and T move at different velocities along the common x-axis of the two frames, as F. Instant shown, XPA is the coordinate of B in the A frame. Also, P is a coordinate XPB in the B frame and coordinate XPA. XPB. XPA in the A frame. BBT XPA. BBT XPB. Plus, the velocity components are related by BPA. BBT XPA. BPB BBA. Opening parenthesis. 4. 41. Closing parenthesis. This equation is red. The velocity BPA of P is measured by A is equal to the 4 6 relative motion in one dimension. 79. Velocity BPV of P is measured by B plus the velocity BVA of P is measured by A. The term BVA is the velocity of frame B relative to frame A. Here we consider only frames that move at constant velocity relative to each other. In our example, this means that Barbara frame B drives always at constant velocity BBA relative to Alex frame A. Car P is a moving particle, however, can change speed and direction, that is, it can accelerate. To relate an acceleration of P is measured by Barbara and by Alex. We take the time derivative of E2.441. BBT BPA. BBT BPB. BBT BBA. Because BBA is constant, the last term is zero and we have ABBA. APB. In other words, 4 to 42. Observers on different frames of reference that move at constant velocity relative to each other will measure the same acceleration for a moving particle. Sample problem 4.07 relative motion, one dimensional, Alice and Barbara. In fig, 4 to 18, suppose that Barbara's velocity relative to Alex is a constant BVA. 52 kilometers per hour and car P is moving in the negative direction of the x-axis. A if Alex measures a constant BPA. What velocity BPV will Barbara measure? The idea is 78 kilometers per hour for 
Avatar team. You can attach a frame of reference to Dallas and a frame of reference Viva Barbara. Because the frames move at constant velocity relative to each other along one axis, you can use EQ. 4 to 41 DPA. DPV DBA. To DPV to DPA and DBA. Calculation. We find. 78 kilometers per hour VPV 52 kilometers per hour. Cut. VPV. 130 kilometers per hour. Answer. Comment. If car key were connected to Barbara's car by a cord moved on a spool, the cord would be unwinding at a speed at 130 kilometers per hour as the two cars separated. D for car key breaks to a stop relative to Alex, and thus relative to the ground in time T. 10S is constant acceleration, what is this acceleration of the relative to Alex? The idea is to calculate the acceleration of car key relative to Alex, you must use the car's velocity relative to Alex. Because the acceleration is constant, we can use EQ. 2 to 11 versus B0 as. To relate the acceleration to the initial and final velocity of the pin. Calculation. The initial velocity of P relative to Alex is. BPA. 78 